Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the fragrances I got this June and I also will have a giveaway for you guys. So if you'd like to know the fragrances I added to my collection, there's a lot this month. We're counting 35 bottles and you want to know what the giveaway is and how you can enter and then keep watching. First things first, the giveaway is going to be for three uh, bundles from Max Aroma. These actually weren't supplied by Max Aroma. These were gifts with purchase when I made a few purchases this month. And I have these fragrances and if I don't own them, I'm going to be adding them to my collection. So instead of having so many of these random travel atomizers around, I figured this would be a really nice giveaway. These are three fragrances from Royal Crown Perfume. There's Yitzma, Alchemia, and Sultan. And if you'd like to know how you can win these and then stick around because the rules will be at the end of the video. But if you're curious, it would be an international giveaway. So if you'd like to know about that, then stay tuned. Also, I'm adding 35 bottles to my collection, some small bottles, some bottle products, perfume products, but there is one that is leaving my collection. Yes, I finished a bottle. And if you've watched my videos or some of my past videos recently, you probably know what it is, but if you haven't, or this is your first time tuning in, this is the first legitimate bottle that I finished in what feels like 10 years. It's been so long. There's been others, but this one just is also very sad because I really loved wearing this one. It was one of my bedtime scents. It was from Bordeaux and it's Belle de Clochette. And this little guy is empty and I'm so sad. It's so hard to find a bottle of this been trying to find it with no luck but this one is gonna stay in my perfume room I'm gonna put it on display because I do like to keep empty bottles but I finished a bottle and that is impressive so go me now the other fragrances I have some are body mist some are travel size one day bath oil but I have 35 other products that are entering my collection so let's get into those now some of these were sent to me as PR in exchange for unbiased reviews I will be saving those to the end of the video that way if you just want to see the fragrances that I spent my money on so I did get a few gifts from my mom she does like to surprise me from time to time with little things it's really cute so one of the things she got me is a product that I used through and I loved. Her favorite fragrance is Tatiana from Diana von Furstenberg. And she got me the bath oil, the perfumed bath oil. I've had this before and I used it and I love it. And she was so cute. She bought me another one. So I have this. I love it. And then she also got me some body mist. So she got me a Pacifica Beach Lavender Lemon. Really enjoy this. And she got me also Indian Night Jasmine from The Body Shop. This is a nice kind of spiced jasmine. It smells really, really nice on the skin. And I'm really happy to have this. So this was very sweet of her. She also did a swap with me. So um, I'm going to uh, show some of the smaller fragrances and I'll kind of explain our swap. So I did pick up some fragrances on clearance and discount. It is body mist season for me during the summer is when I buy a lot of body mist. So this was on sale at Ulta and I really liked it. It's sweet grapefruit, just something easy to wear in the morning. I do like it. I found sunflowers from Elizabeth Arden. Uh, to, I think Marshalls for $1.50 in the clearance rack. This is a fragrance I actually really like. I just had never purchased it. And I thought to myself, $1.50 can't beat that. And it is a really nice, great, just very happy summer fragrance. So I have that. And then BoxyCharm had one of their pop-ups. And I don't know if you guys know, but if you like fragrances, um, like clean fragrances, there's certain brands that Boxy Lux and Ipsy will have on some of their specials. And Boxy Luck has by Rosie Jane. That's when I got Angie. I got it for like $12 rather than the $65 for a full-size bottle. And they had some Ellis Brooklyn there. And that is a brand that I've wanted to kind of expand and try more. So I got four bottles, three travel sized, one Hydra perfume. So this is their Hydra perfume myth. The smell of this is amazing. And like, I want you to, my nails look horrible. Um, so just ignore my fingernails, but like, can you see like how weird that looks? It looks so weird. It comes out as a mist and it smells amazing. I'm gonna be buying a bottle of this, but this is just like the weirdest. If anyone knows exactly how that's supposed to work, I picked that up for like 12 bucks, so I'm okay. 
And then I got some travel atomizers. These normally retail for $30. I think they were like 10 bucks. So I picked up all the other ones available. We have West, Sci-Fi, and Patchouli. I actually haven't tried these yet, but I am excited to kind of explore this brand. But I do really like Myth, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. That is fantastic. And then I also picked up another body mess from Sol de Janeiro. This is Tereso 71. This is the one that's kind of more earthy, salty, uh, has macadamia nut in it. It's really sexy fragrance. I really enjoy this. I would have bought the other ones, Coco Cabana and Tereso 40, but those were sold out. So next we're going to get into kind of the more substantial fragrances. There is one more fragrance I bought just for a dumb grab and I really like it. And it's from Fragonard or Fragonard. I can never say this name. You guys know I'm really bad at pronouncing names. And this is Rose de Mai, the Eau de Toilette. Just a really easy rose fragrance. Again, something I can wear in the morning. I do really like fragrances from that house. So everything else I got is pretty substantial in regards to just what I like to collect, price point and things like that. So. I think not last month, but the month before, uh, Gallagher Fragrances had actually sent me a 30 ml bottle of Overt, and I reviewed it. And if I have reviews of any of these fragrances, because some of these I'll have reviews of, I'll link it below in the video if you want to check it out. But I loved that fragrance, and I was like, I know I'm going to end up getting a big bottle of this at some point. The thing is, is my mom really liked it too, and there was a fragrance that she had just gotten that I really liked that she enjoyed but worked better on my skin. So we did a swap. So I swapped her a small bottle, my small 30 ml bottle of Overt, and I bought a big old chunky boy. So I bought the 100 ml bottle. I do really like this scent. It is a fantastic, fantastic scent, especially for summer, especially for humidity. Absolutely love the band in here, it is excellent. So I got a big old chunky boy of that. And she had swapped me her Maison Lancome Fig and Egg Rooms, Figs and Citrus. And I reviewed this, and it's a really nice citrus. Is it an amazing citrus? Is it an amazing fig? No. Is it a nice, wearable, beautiful fragrance? Yes. Is it worth the price point of Maison Lancome, which is around $200? It's not too bad. I don't think it smells out of the realm of possibility for being overpriced at that market or at that price point. It's a really nice fragrance. I did review this, so I will link that below. I also picked up two other Maison Lancome fragrances. This one I haven't reviewed yet. I'm going to butcher the name. I've literally listened to Google Translate pronounce it in French probably for the last five minutes. No luck. It's Pivoine Printemps, it's a peony fragrance. Peony fragrance, I can never say that flower correctly. I have not reviewed this. I will review this, it is very pretty. And then this last one that I purchased from his and Lancome is Magnolia Rosé. And I did review this recently and I also did a discussion on my thoughts of how Lancome has been running the specific line in regards to new fragrances that come out and discontinued scents. So if you wanna, a little bit of my opinion on that and a little bit of a fragrance discussion check out this video and this review i will link that below i do really like these scents as you guys if you guys don't know maison lancome is one of my favorite like higher designer lines premier lines i think it's fantastic i love the presentation and i'm really happy to add those to my collection and to just buy the maison lancome fragrances because i don't know if i'm going to like them and they're going to discontinue them before i have a chance to even try them I also picked up, this guy was hiding behind the other taller bottles, this little bottle from Pacifica. This is Himalayan Patchouli Berry. This smells very specific. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this in another video, but it does smell really nice. And then here we're going on to my more substantial fragrances. Now this isn't a substantial fragrance, it's just a fragrance I've been wanting to add to my collection for a very long time. It's from Guerlain. It's the Shalimar, the cologne. So amazing. This is a new formulation, so I have smelled the older one. Fantastic. This one, not as good, but still fantastic. So I do really like this. I think I picked it up for like 30 bucks, so no problem there. And I'm really happy to expand my Guerlain collection. And then the next five, six fragrances. These are like the, the more expensive ones, the ones that I've really kind of been 
when am I gonna buy them? Am I buying them now? <laughs> um, and I had some deals, I bought them, you know, people had sales, took advantage of like, you know, holidays, summertime, Father's Day, Mother's Day sales that were going on for these. So this first one is Kafera from House of Matriarch. I actually tried this for the first time in her advent calendar and I fell in love. It's such a complex, beautiful fragrance. It has such a beautiful story behind it, such an interesting, fantastic, magical story behind it. And I, I love it. I wore through my sample. I was like, I have to get a bottle of this. And I think she was having a special sale or it was like 50% off. So I picked this up. And I've had somebody ask about like House of Matriarch and price points. I know Christie's stuff is priced high and I've basically like working with her on she, I know the amount of money that Christie invests in her brand. She invests so much money, so much time, so much energy. She doesn't scrimp. She will get the best of the best with everything. And that's why her stuff is high. But whenever she can give a discount, she does. So I always say if you want to get like House of Matriarch a little bit more affordable and accessible, sign up for her newsletter. She will let you know when she has 50% off, buy one, get one. She has an amazing rewards program. So definitely if you're interested in House of Matriarch, but it's out of your price point, which I understand. Uh, if you know like high-end designer fragrances like Chanel or Dior fragrances are within your price point, but House of Matriarch isn't, because uh, I know that those are still high price point fragrances too, still expensive, very expensive, but not as expensive as Christie Full Price. She is incredibly generous with her discounts in regards to um, repeat customers and just offering special discounts throughout the year. So definitely sign up for her newsletter if you want to maybe see if you can get a good deal on a fragrance. I picked this up again for 50% off. And like the bottle of Gazal that I bought, that's an $840 bottle of perfume. I used my reward points. I spent $400. Still a lot of money, but you know, she's very generous with like, you know, reward points and discounts and coupons. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there because I've had people ask me repeatedly over the years about that. And I figured I'd kind of let you guys know. So the last five fragrances are fragrances that I wanted to add to my collection. <laughs> First one, and this is a funny, funny story behind this guy right here. So I tracked down a bottle of 3.4 ounce 51 from Raja. And this is such a beautiful fragrance. I love it. it smells so good if you like white florals, especially summertime fragrances that smell elegant, beautiful. Anyway, I don't know if you guys watched the video I posted a day or two ago, I'm not sure when it went up, it was like my challenge video, and I was holding a bottle of perfume and it kind of slipped out of my hands. You guys might notice a lot of weird jumps in my editing. There's two reasons for that. The first reason is I have a very um, scratchy cough sometimes. I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of tea, mostly tea actually, <laughs> mostly rhubarb tea with honey to help with my cough, but sometimes I just go into coughing fits. So if you see weird jumps or weird edits in my video, it's because I will start coughing. I don't know when it will start, it just comes up. It's one of my lovely little health things and then it goes away. And that's why there'll be weird jumps and edits in my videos. So there's that. And the other thing is, is I have fragrances all around me. Some are on a little dresser over here, some are in front of me and I will knock them over. <laughs> you will hear clanks. I've held bottles and I've dropped them. And so like I edit to kind of edit out the noise of me being super clumsy. So my mom loves white florals and she, we were eating lunch and I was sharing this with her and I was holding it and I was out there in my living room and we have wooden floors and I'm holding it and I'm like, I love it. And I just, I'm very expressive with my hands and I went like this and I flung this thing 10 feet. <laughs> And it hit the floor and it bounced three times. And my mom and I were like, and I like go over and I was like, I'm like, please, like if it broke, please let it just be like a crack where I can decant this. And this bottle is fine. Nothing wrong with it. No cracks, no dents, nothing happened to the top. This is a champ. <laughs> but I'm like, they're just watching $800 fly, fly through the air. <laughs> I was like, oh no. 
Now I didn't spend $800 on this. This is a limited edition. I think you can't get this anymore. I did buy this uh, from Max Aroma, so it was cheaper. <laughs> but if I wanted, you know, it's if you pay full retail price, so it was still like $500 flying through the air. It was a lot of money. I was not, not amused, but I'm very clumsy. So this had a little trip. <laughs> and fantastic presentation. 10 out of 10 would recommend dropping on your floor. Don't do that, but I am impressed that it didn't break or crack. There's like, it looks perfect. So gotta say something about that presentation, but I do love this bottle a lot. It is a fragrance that I've had decanted and I've been meaning to buy and I finally found it. I found a really great deal on Max Serona for a 3.4, so I picked that up. Now, the giveaway will be about the other four fragrances. Max Aroma was having a sale on their Royal Crown perfumes. And if you guys are wondering, uh, Royal Crown Max Aroma is an official authorized retailer of Royal Crown. So you can purchase Royal Crown from there and there'll be great sales and discounts. And if you like to use Afterpay, if that's your thing, uh, you can definitely do that. And they had with each purchase of a full bottle, you got a little kind of bundle of their best sellers. <laughs> and I love Royal Crown. So I bought four bottles, three different orders. So I got three different Royal Crowns. I, this has, um, I don't know if I said in the beginning, I had to refilm this video because of my coughing fits. And this has Alchemia, Yitzma, and Salted. So these are valued if you were to purchase this on Max Aroma, about $95. These are what the giveaway is going to be, but I'm going to share with you my Royal Crown purchases. And I have been on a Royal Crown buying kick. I actually love these fragrances. They are very expensive, even at a discount, even at a discount discount. Still incredibly pricey fragrances, but I have been really impressed with the fragrances that I have. So the first one we have is Oud Jasmine. And this is just amazing, very expensive. One of the most expensive fragrances that they sell currently, but beautiful. I have a review of that if you wanna check it out. I picked up Le Petit Coquins, can I pronounce that? It has a little ladybug on it. I'm a huge miraculous ladybug fan, so that tickled me. Gorgeous fragrance. I will probably be reviewing this next. So we have El Kimia. Uh, beautiful rose. And actually when I wore this fragrance, I sprayed it. John walked into the room and he looked at me and he's like, what the F are you wearing? And I was like, you don't like it? He's like, no, that smells amazing. So this is John approved, if anyone cares. They all know that John does not like perfume. So he actually loves that one. So that was surprising. And this one is one that's, I think, their most expensive currently. It's absolute. Now, they have new presentation for this. So if you purchase this on Max Aroma, Currently, it will be the old presentation. It's, to me, a more interesting cap, the older one, um, but it's perfectly fine. Um, Max Roma, again, is an authorized reseller, and I did reach out and just double check, even though I trust Max Roma, I work with Max Roma, you never know, and I always recommend, you know, be as thorough and as proactive as possible. And Royal Crown was like, yep, just new packaging. Everyone's using older um, packaging, so absolute this one is phenomenal i will be doing a review on this i am very mindful i know i've been doing reviews of a lot of very expensive perfumes so i don't want to overload my channel with just expensive unaccessibly priced niche fragrances i want to make sure that i have a variety of fragrances from all price points from you guys at all times so I'm going to wait a week or two before I review this and I'm going to review some other more accessibly priced fragrances. A, because just because they're cheaper doesn't mean that they're worse. They're still amazing fragrances. And just I want you guys to have a nice variety of things, a nice variety of things to watch. I don't want you guys to think she's only reviewing expensive niche fragrances. I just I don't want to be that channel. There's nothing wrong with those channels. I just don't want to be that channel. So these are the fragrances that I purchased. And next we're going to go into fragrances that were sent to me. Uh, yeah. Now I asked you guys before in the past if you were okay with me showing you fragrances that were sent to me to review. And you guys have said yes. So again, if you guys have problems with this, please let me know. I will say that 
these companies, they are always 150% behind an honest, unbiased review that has no attachments. So I can review these when I want to, when I find them to be the right time to review, and I am allowed to be 150% honest. If I don't like something, I can rip it apart. So I do love having relationships with brands where they allow that, and they also send me things, so I have more of a variety of things to review for you guys. I hate reviewing fragrances that are sent to me because I feel very disingenuous, and I hope that's the right word. I prefer to review things that I purchase. I think that even I, even if I'm being honest, I think that it's totally fair and 100% all right for you guys to not trust that. And I don't think you guys think any less. I don't take any offense if you guys are like, no. In fact, that's why I like to let you guys know in the beginning of a video, right after I do my introduction to let you guys know where I got a bottle of perfume so that you guys don't have to waste your time watching a video on fragrances that I got sent for free. You can say, I do not want to watch this. You can download and go away. That's fine. So I just want you guys to know that, but it is a perk of having a channel and I am very lucky and blessed to be able to be sent some amazing fragrances to try. And I do like to bring them to you guys because some of these are fragrances that I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase. Um, these Some of these are brands that I'm just excited to try that I probably wouldn't have tried to begin with. They just probably would have been out of my realm of like view, out of my vision. You know, I, you know, there's so many amazing houses out there that I kind of forget are out there and I'm like, why don't I own anything from them? Why haven't I tried anything from them? Because a lot of times I purchase from my channel and sometimes brands get left out. And so this is a way for me to try fragrances from brands that I enjoy. So I wanna thank you guys so much for giving me that opportunity. And I just want you guys to know if you ever don't want me to share that with my hauls or anything like that, please let me know. But you guys have wanted to see it, so I'll share them with you. The first five fragrances are from Boys 1920. These are fantastic fragrances. I've really been enjoying them all. I think my most favorite is Sushi Imperial. I did review this fragrance. It is fantastic. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like sushi, but it just smells really fantastic. This one right here, this is Oro Rosso. Let me tell you, this is, when I review this, is going to be, I'm going to be digging into this fragrance. This is one of those fragrances that is very similar to Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> you guys know I love Baccarat Rouge, but if it's priced close to Baccarat Rouge or priced at Baccarat Rouge prices, I'm going to be talking about it. So I'm going to be reviewing this. I do really like this because I like Baccarat Rouge, but there will be a comparison. So this will probably be my next review. Then I've got this one right here. This is Oro 1920. I love the presentation of these bottles. They're so cool. Then we have Dolce di Gior Giorno. Di Giorno. I can't pronounce anything. I can't even pronounce English properly. I can barely pronounce Japanese properly. And it's been 20 years since I took Japanese. Really like this one a lot. This one I think is the most masculine of the four or the five five i can't count five fragrances but i do like it and then last and certainly not least is vento di fiore and i think this is my favorite looking bottle it just looks so cool so i will be reviewing these for you guys over the next few weeks i have been wearing them for a few weeks i've had them for about a month now so i've been wearing them and i'm ready to review the other ones but i'm just going to kind of space it out a little bit now these last seven fragrances are from Obvious Parfums and they were sent to me to review. I got the, sent the whole collection, which is amazing and I'm incredibly grateful. And these are way more accessibly priced. These are priced at $140 per fragrance and I've just briefly kind of explored these. I just got these the other day. So we have Un Poif, Un Poif. And then we have Un Voice and then Un Rose, and Un Vini, Un Patchouli, Un Fleur de Oranger, and if you can imagine what my favorite one of this is, this probably this one, even though I like them all, I haven't really tried it, but this one's really good too, Un Musk. So I am excited to review these. Now, 
do you guys, if you are interested in a review of these fragrances, would you like me to review them individually? Or would you like me to do a brand overview? I'm more than happy to do anything. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. But those were sent to me too, very grateful. I've been enjoying them. And they are priced high, $140 is very pricey, but they're not out of the realm of possibility. We're not looking at 200 to $500, $800. $800. So I do think that these are a little bit more affordably priced, still expensive, but these seem to be, from what I've smelled, just from kind of trying them out for the past few days, really, really nice. So I am enjoying these. So that is the end of my haul. Those are the fragrances that will be making their way into my collection somewhere in these here cabinets. I'm working on the layout of this room. I'm really excited to hopefully, probably won't be this summer because summers in Florida are abysmal. It's either thundering outside or 105 degrees with 99.9% .9 humidity. Nobody wants to work in that. But we're going to be building custom cabinets ourselves. So uh, we are working on the layout of the room. We're going to be getting new floors, going to be completely redoing this room. So you're going to be looking at this backdrop for a few more months, but I'm really excited for it. So excited to get this room set up to be what I want it to be and not what it is currently. So those are the fragrances. So now let's get into the giveaway. I know I don't do a lot of giveaways. I used to do them a lot more frequently. I'm really sorry with everything that's been going on in my life the past three years. It's just been hard for me to leave the house. But I did, when I purchased the Royal Crown fragrances, I was going to definitely do one giveaway, but these are fragrances that I like, one of them I own. And I thought I'm just gonna give away all three. And that way I can give back to you guys. Even though this was a gift with purchase, I didn't purchase this. Max Roma didn't send these to give away to you guys, but uh, they are really generous with gifts with purchase in a lot of cases. And I do like to take advantage of gifts with purchase when I make purchases. So I figured I would let you guys try out some amazing Royal Crown fragrances. So first things first, this is an international giveaway. So anyone in the world can win. However, it is free to enter, but if you live any place that's international, you guys are only gonna be responsible if duties, customs, or taxes arise. So I do everything in my power to ensure that you don't have to pay that, but sometimes it's out of my hands. So if there's any customs or duties, fees, or anything like that, or taxes that arise from this, that is on you guys to cover. That's the only thing I really kind of want to like disclaimer and let you guys know in regards to this giveaway. That's one of the reasons why I don't do too many international giveaways because I would hate to send you guys something and then you get footed with a bill. Normally, I've never had it happen and I've shipped everywhere, but I just like to let you guys know that. So just keep that in mind if you're entering out of the States the rules to enter the giveaway. This is a giveaway for my subscribers. So you have to be a subscriber to my channel. And below, you have to just tell me that you're entering the giveaway. That's it. Be a subscriber to my channel and below in the comment section, just say, I'd like to enter the giveaway. That's it. I will choose three winners July 15th. I'm gonna let this run almost a full month to give a lot of people time to enter. I will be letting the winners know below. I used to do dedicated videos, but it's just easier for me to contact you guys. So make sure that you guys actually respond to my comments because if I don't get a response from you guys at the end of the giveaway, seven days after the end, you're going to forfeit your prize. So just keep an eye on your YouTube channel, YouTube video, things like that. I don't want to ask anyone to so like give me their email below. I think that kind of leaves a lot of people open to get spam and get harassed. So you just gotta make sure to check this video, you know, July 16th, because I will announce the winners below. So that's it, to enter the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. Let me know in the comment section down below that you're entering the giveaway, and the deadline to enter is July 15th, 2021. I will choose three winners, and again, internationally, doesn't matter. You don't have to tell me where you live. You don't have to tell me anything about yourself. You can tell me I'm entering the giveaway and I hate you. You're ugly. Why do you do this? And you could still win. 
you don't have to be nice to me. You can be rude. That's fine. As long as you're a subscriber and you enter, you're eligible to win this giveaway. So that is that. Good luck to everybody that enters. And I will have any of reviews of these fragrances if I have reviews of any of these scents. I will link them below if you want to check them out. If there is any review you would like of these fragrances sooner rather than later, let me know in the comment section below. And good luck to everybody that enters the giveaway. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.